Hey, this is Giz. And you're watching DDC Moncton. Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. <laughs> and we just came back from watching Transformers 3. Um, Dark Side of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon, thank you. And uh, we saw it in 2D, and I refuse to see it in 3. Yeah. The movie itself is, uh, right now, before I go in with any f further details, we're going to tell you this. The movie is at least a thumb and a half each, instead of two thumbs up. And it's not as bad as what people are actually making out to be. Don't listen to the critics because they're shooting it down from the get-go and there's lots of things happening on YouTube that are trying to debunk the movie. First and foremost, let me tell you this. They did recycle a very short amount of time shot from the movie The Island. Uh, by very short, we'd say what? A minute. Not even. Yeah. Um, from uh, from the highway, Scott McKin Martin actually uh, uh, linked it to his Facebook. So I'll try to find the link that he uh, shared, and you guys can take a look. Uh, they just d do, did some remastering from the original footage, um, cleaned it up, made it look as if uh, the the uh, Transformers were actually fighting on the highway, and it actually came out well, and you really couldn't notice it. Um, one thing that we want to make sure that you're aware of is that this movie has two ties to very important uh, sci-fi series that we enjoyed so very much. One that was created by Joss Whedon uh, with his Firefly series, and another one that was created by Gene Roddenberry with Star Trek. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because Len Leonard Nimoy has his voice into the uh, actual Sentinel Transformer in this particular movie, uh, and uh, Alan Tudyk, who you loved so much as the uh, uh, pilot Wash from Firefly, also who played the uh, main robot in I Robot with Will Smith. Um, and he was he was also in another series by uh, Gene Ryan. Um, uh, help me here. Well, series with Dollhouse. Josh Whedon. Yeah, Dollhouse. He played Alpha. Yeah. Who was one of the, the very first uh, dolls to be created by Wynn Psycho. Yep. So, the movie itself, first and foremost, in effect, it's absolutely stupendous, as usual. In fact, you get less loss in this one compared to the first and second movie. Uh, this one also did not do the grave error of what they did in the second movie which was tie in flesh and machinery together for kind of a Terminator-ish yeah, feeling. Yeah, sorry I was ready to walk out of the fucking theater at that point. And uh, Mitch had, I, I don't know because I don't remember the, the, the woman in question, but Mitch is telling me that the woman who plays the love interest for... Um, it's not necessarily the same Wiki, actress, I'll have uh, to check on IMDb. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll but, have to uh, it, looks a, it looks a lot like the actress that played that uh, the Terminator-ish thing from the second movie. Wars 2, yeah. They had lots of running gags, lots of uh, fun stuff to actually be told. Uh, there's also the fact that they uh, used veteran actor uh, John Malkovich in this one <laughs> with a psycho boss slash company owner. Yeah. Perfect, then. Even with the fake tan. I don't think it was a company owner. I think it was just the head of his uh, his floor, his department. I think he was the <coughs> owner of the company. Sitting out, uh, sitting out on the floor like that? Yeah. I suppose. Anyway. The fact that they kept the original actors that were involved from the first movie up to now, apart from Megan Fox, of course, made uh, made the movie more enjoyable too, because I, I'd hate to see a lot of the seals being replaced by other actors. Um, unknowns. The fact that they had the main lead actor. And what's the name of the actor? Same from, director. Uh, Hangover. Big. Parts one and two. The Chinese guy. Oh, uh, well, uh, I don't know his actual actor name, but uh, yeah, his part was pretty fun. The the Wong character from uh, that particular. He made this movie a lot more interesting. Uh, of course, there was no penis references in this one, and no drugs. There were penis references, just not overt ones. Yes. But, the movie itself was well scripted up to a certain degree. Uh, they did 
kind of pull out certain certain time stops and trying to prolong the movie experience. The movie itself is under two hours and forty minutes running time, uh, but it's it's long. Um, what more can we say? The fact that they shot it with uh, the Kennedy Space Center and uh, a lot of Florida's support actually made the movie what it, what it was because it had that special flair. Also to that, they shot it pretty much all in the U.S. They didn't go outside of the state. They used entirely shots from the beautiful United States of America. So at least for me, I'm not going to go see it again in theaters. I may actually purchase this one as an add-on to my DVD collection. Yeah, the first one and this one I wouldn't mind having in my collection. The second one I'll pass. Yeah, the second one unfortunately had certain iffy things. The second one, the director should have been... Lit. I think the, the director was probably on the bender on that one. Drunk and stoned at the same time. Well, the script for the second one wasn't as good as the third one or the first one, but... Yeah, I think when he was doing the second one, he forgot he was doing a Transformers movie and decided to do a, a, a Terminator movie. Then he thought, well, you know what? It's a Transformers movie. We have to go back. But we haven't got the budget. Okay, we'll just keep it as it is. <laughs> so, as a movie, a movie to be seen in theaters, I'd say yes. Yeah, of course, I won't go for a 3D. No. Uh, the next time you see me in a showing, seeing a 3D showing, I'll be wearing my 2D glasses to convert to 2D. Same here. Because I'm sick and freaking tired of the 3D. Yeah, but Studios, please. There's kids, damn it. You can say it. Fuck off with the 3D. It's dead. You killed it. It's dead. Let it die. So, anyways, as a rental, it's a mo it's a, an absolute must if you want to wait until it comes out in, in rental format. But if you want to see it with the sound effects being added in, where you get your boat rocked every which way due to the sound and, and waves, and you hear the tweeters popping and sparking, yeah, it's worth it. Otherwise, wait for it when it's a rental. Trust me, you'll be glad that you've actually seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, with that said, folks, it was me and Mitch. Have a nice one.